I can already tell you based off the title of this episode that this is going to be an interesting one. It's titled, First, An Unsuitable Profession for Her, Second, An Ecstatic Detective Agency. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, episode 11 of season 1. Last episode, we had such a crazy fight between Akutagawa, Akutagawa, you know, I apologize for how I mispronounce his name all the time, um, and Atsushi. Atsushi pulling out clutch with the tail grab into the into the punch and then uh izumi kyoka ended up saving him jumping onto the boat kunikita saved us which was nice but then we find out from Dazai, who got that information from chuya in the communications room who actually put the bounty on atsushi now i don't i mean it, i'm assuming based off the cut that it's because it went to a nice ass yacht with all this lavish stuff um francis scott fitzgerald who shouts out to my patreon comments always giving me such handy information when it comes to context of the show uh let me know obviously first off that these are all based this whole show is based off um, Japanese li literary artists and, and, and their craft and their personalities and stuff are, are based off that. But Francis Scott Fitzgerald, who I thought was like Francis Scott Key, the poet who did the, uh, the American National Anthem, I'm pretty sure. I was like, whoa, but no, it, it's Francis Scott Fitzgerald, who I looked it up, was named after his distant cousin, Francis Scott Key, who was the author of The Great Gatsby. And I've never seen The Great Gatsby movie or read the book. I, a lot of people in my school had to read the book for English class. I happened to be in AP English at the time, so I'm pretty sure I was reading something else. I don't even remember back in the day. But all I know is that he is the leader of the guild, and he was talking about going to the promised land, and he was talking about how Akutagawa missed his his like meeting. He was supposed to deliver Atsushi by a certain time, and he missed it. Uh, it's going to get crazy. I know a lot of you said in the comments that it does have an overarching plot and it's going to get crazy, especially seasons two and three. And just I'm letting you guys know I'm here for it. I'm excited as all heck. I say we jump right on into this. I'm ready. Don't forget, though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows, uh, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, you guys can just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly what I post over here on the Dapper channel. And then follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok at Dapper Darius. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs, Season 1, Episode 11. Let's do this. Huh. Yeah, I'd be doing I'd be asking the same thing. So you're just trying her in a bunch of different outfits. The president? Oh, I love the music that plays and how that shot always is when he's so badass. I like that answer Kunikita gave. It's a very hard life being an ADA agent. I also like that rebuttal. And we know how much that means to someone like uh, Atsushi, so he's going to be all for it, I assume. That's why, that's why I like them as a duo a lot, because they relate to each other so much. Okay. I like the president. I need to know more about him, though. He's so dope, and oh, man, he seems so cool. Akutsugawa, all laid up in the hospital. Spinal fr sprain fraction of the lower jaw. Akutsugawa. <laughs> だが暴力を返されることは資質であり不採だよ。そんな不採なのか。ああ、maybe I mean, especially being a part of the Port Mafia, I understand it. Oh, 
Understandable. Understandable. It's a fair question. Especially in an organization where they respect power and they respect, you know, violence. Violence is their currency. Without Akutagawa there, you know, Higuchi's like just his little follow up, you know? No way. I know they were talking about retaliation is kind of expected in this situation, especially with what Ak Akutagawa did, but. Eh. He's not actually gonna die, is he? Don't get me wrong. He's a good antagonist. I like Akutogawa. Abducted. Higher. Okay. Yep, so it was Karma Transit who... They hired out some people. Okay. But she's going ahead. Okay. I was not expecting this at all. Especially not Higuchi. I haven't seen her in episodes. Oh, really? Because of your feelings for Akutagawa. Okay. Come on, hit that shot. It's like we're playing COD out here, some Warzone, some Apex. <laughs> this was super risky. All these professional mercenaries. Oh, the Black Lizard Squad actually came in. I wonder... Oh. I like that. I'm curious if the act of not necessarily defying orders, but doing something because you know it won't be done, like that act of, I don't care, I'm going to do this, even though I know it's not in my favor and it might lead to my death i think that is what spurred them to help out because they were saying give us a reason to want to work under you you know we we did it earlier because we were afraid of akutagawa and how strong he is now that he's gone what are you gonna do you know it's just you so it's like i mean that is a pretty ballsy move she did and i i like that they came i, I was not expecting a port mafia episode like this don't make me feel for these characters i wanted them all to die Is he actually waking up? They said he may never regain consciousness. This is great timing to do it right when you're getting rescued. <laughs> you're still worried about him? Come on. Oh. I want to know the details of their relationship, though. Okay, I was expecting her to say I love you or something cheesy, but nah, she, she got that. It is her job. I like that. Oh, what's his name? He was in that Rampo episode. I liked him. Minora. Second, except so this is like a two-part kind of episode. What the heck was going on? I love this. I mean, I could tell by your getup. I like it. You look dope in it. Hey, shouts out Kenji. Car in motion blew up. Hmm. This always happens. Another shadowing episode. I'm down. Let's see what's going on. Okay. That, that's yeah cause for concern holy shit
So he's a very handy man. He knows a lot of on-hand laborist tips, tricks, all that. Because, you know, you got to be in a... I'm guessing it's a farming village type. Why is he getting so intimidated? That's such a nice looking face. Youngins. Okay. Nitrogen fertilizer. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. That's a different story. Kenji. Yeah, Kenji has just homies around the block. That's what happens when you help people. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Hey, Gojo, wrong show. What's my dog? I also want to know Kenji's gift or power. Will that work? If I'm just sincere in my inquiries, would you guys answer me honestly? That has to be something with his power. That has to be something or along the lines of his power. Was purchasing eggs on a limited time only sale. The best and worst team. I am curious as well. So this is the gang they were talking about. Look at Atsushi. Huh? That's all what all gangs in, in anime do, huh? Huh? I mean, he was very sincere. Okay. And no, it seems as if they did. They seem pretty upset about those <laughs> inquiries. Ooh, a beef bowl sounds yummy. You guys heard that that was another video rendering. Oh my lord. Literally, I feel like I'm making their face right. What is this his life motto he lives by? The Miyazawa family motto. Okay. Should cows act up, hit him with whatever's close at hand. That's an interesting uh, condition. When he's full, I'm guessing he takes naps. That's what I would do when I'm full. That beef bull is probably hidden. Well... I do like how that was literally like a two-part episode, but in one episode. Like, first, an unsuitable profession for her. I, I need to know more about Higuchi and Akutagawa, because they showed a small little glimpse of Akutagawa and the slums he came from when they showed like such a bustling, gorgeous city, and then it panned down, and it was just like literal slums, like a favela, and it was just like... And it, I need to know more about his backstory and where Higuchi falls into that because she seems to have literally like an, a, a, a such devotion, you know, an undying sense of loyalty to him. And I wonder if it's because she was also in a horrible situation that he ended up pulling her out of or he remotivated her in some way, saved her, saved a loved one of hers. I'm very curious because, you know, you see this type of loyalty a lot in anime but it always comes from something a lot deeper and like the backstory and i really want to and i really liked how she said it's not impossible to leave the port mafia it's it's hard but it's doable yet i never did then it paused and then she said it again pause and then she did it again when she's finally with akutsugawa 
and it was because it's my job i like that you know not too not too in there but it's still in i like that and he apologized sorry for all this and i like the black lizard how they came in to help like i said i think it's because of her unwavering loyalty to him and willing to do willingness to do whatever this is i was not expecting that at all like they're humanizing the the port mafia a little bit which makes sense you know they did a little bit with the kuchigawa and him going against his eye i'm just i'm very curious i'm also very curious about the little crazy looking child who was painting a look like with lipstick maybe it was chalk i couldn't really tell it was it just seemed like very thick um lines that she was painting and then she was painting like a kutagawa getting his head chopped off normally i would just be like okay she's a creepy kid but after seeing kyoka and how they're willing to use kids to literally be assassins this girl could have some crazy power you know crazy power i have no idea i want to know who that leader higher up was as well i'm still waiting on more about francis scott fitzgerald um and the guild all that um i need to get more of the black lizard squad names all i have is gin who uh with the cool mask he's like known as the assassin he'll do a lot of assassinations for the higher ups and i finally got minora's name the police officer i liked how he came back in for a little little cameo i, I like the police uh, and how he came in a little awkward because of how he was doubting them last time and he you know he knows of their potential this time so he asked for their help which i appreciate but uh kenji kenji is quite the character his they i love how all the powers have a certain condition to them they're not just super op you know a lot of some of them are definitely stronger than others but like how um yosano has to like it has to be a lethal injury that she can heal fully um he can only get the strength when he's hungry when he when he's full he falls asleep hey i wish that was my power i'd just be i'd be hungry and do whatever it needs to do to get this food and then when i get the food i'm cool i'm chilling you know i like that interesting episode though very excited for this finale hopefully you guys are as well if you enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below um don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes we are four episodes ahead on patreon or you can watch the full length versions over there and follow me on all the social medias instagram twitch twitter tiktok at dapper Darius. don't forget to tell someone you love them drink some water be safe have a great day dapper squad peace